Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2021, on this February 23rd, Tuesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, to lift our Heavenly Father's name on high, to worship Him for this beautiful morning the Lord has given to us, for His mercies and grace. Let us thank Him. Let us lift a hand and worship Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning our lord protected us amen thank you father thank you last night he gave us good sleep and blessed us thank you father thank you with good health happiness the lord who woke us up for his grace for his mercies for the love of our father let us tell him thank you from the depth of our heart hallelujah everyone take some time and worship the lord Father, we love you. Father, we are worshipping you. Abba, Father, we tell you, thank you. Father, last morning, you led us. Thank you. Last night, you gave us good sleep. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you. In our needs, your grace was there. Thank you. You delivered our eyes from tears, our life from death, and our feet from falling. For your mercies, thank you. Father, we are worshipping you. As a family, you preserved us. Thank you. You preserved our health. Thank you. You gave us life. Thank you. So far, you gave us victory. Thank you. Father, every day, you give us wisdom knowledge and let us by your word remembering your mercies father we are telling you thank you father in our falling you upholded us father you did not allow our feet to fall but you protected us lord and father we are telling you thank you we are worshiping you father we praise you we lift your name on high the psalmist is saying in psalms 18 the beginning verse says i will love you O lord my strength the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god my strength in whom i will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold hallelujah like how the psalmist is saying the old testament disciple is saying let us also say along with him the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god my strength in whom i will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold hallelujah i will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised so shall I be saved from my enemies I am calling on to my father from the hands of my enemies from the problems from the difficulties from my difficult situations surely he will deliver me hallelujah let us all pray together let us all close our eyes with one mind and heart pray dear heavenly father in the name of jesus we are looking unto thy face last full morning you who protected us thank you for your faithfulness for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you with good health you who woke us up thank you father thank you lord jesus all those who are hearing this voice today father we pray for them you who have the authority over heaven and earth we bless them you who made the heaven and the earth father thank you for you have blessed Bless your children. Father, let their family life be blessed. Let their workplace be blessed. Let their body be blessed. Let their children be blessed. Father Lord, with all the spiritual blessing, Father, they are blessed. Father, let it be manifested in their life. Father, your grace, your peace, your happiness, amen, your rest, Lord. Let it increase, increase and multiply in the life we pray. Also, Father, every personal needs of theirs, let your grace be there. Father, those who are suffering from sickness, this morning in the name of Jesus, let them receive their healing. In the name of Jesus, let them receive their healing. Father, those who are suffering from heart problem, where there is complaint in the heart valve, Father, in the name of Jesus, let them be healed. Every heart problem, the children who are suffering from birth itself genetical itself congenital heart disease in the name of jesus this morning let them be healed father let all the functioning of the world be normal let the heart muscle be strong and strengthened father in the name of jesus every block in the name of jesus let it be gone the cases that are kept for surgery father without surgery let them be healed we pray Thank you, Father, for delivering them. Thank you for the miracle that has happened. Oh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, let the heart beat be normal. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Also, Lord Jesus, those who are going through other problems and difficulties, we ask your deliverance. Those who don't have job, Father, send a new way and door for them. Those who are worried about their children, Father, you have to do a miracle. Those who are having problems in their family, Father, you have to touch those families. Father, where they have started their work and could not come completed because of financial problem because of other problems father let your work be revealed and let your name alone be glorified 
Lord Jesus, especially we pray for all the sick today. Father, dear children, lay your hand where you are sick. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all the ties of sickness and disease, let it be gone. Every spirit of sickness and disease, let you leave the body right now in the name of Jesus. Also, Father, we pray for those who are suffering from Corona those are hospitalized thank you for you have healed your children thank you lord for hearing our prayer we give you all the glory in jesus name we pray amen 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 let the lord bless you all abundantly this morning the grace the peace the happiness of the lord let it increase in abundance in your life i pray hallelujah if these messages are a blessing for you send it to others also let them also be blessed and be delivered by the hand of the lord hallelujah Today we are going to read from Titus 2.14. Titus 2.14. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people zealous for good works. In 1 Peter 1.18.19 says, Knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of lamb without blemish and without sport hallelujah redemption means from the situation where we were he he took us out from that we who were servants of sin we who were uh, servants of darkness by the precious blood of jesus christ he redeemed us from that condition and when that redemption happened when he redeemed us from sin he redeemed us from curse and now all these things don't have authority over us we should open our mouth and say curse sin does not have authority over me for my god in jesus christ has redeemed me hallelujah Verse number 12, let us read Titus 2, 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, ungodliness is moving away from God, working against the will of God, worldly lust, going behind things of the world without desiring anything else. Dear children, but falling onto the things of the world, probably you might be calling onto God, but then you are calling because you love the world for, with a desire that my things should happen. Increasing that we should live soberly, righteously and godly in the present age, says the word of God. For that we were created. Hallelujah. So when we live in this world, we should live soberly, meaning that I am living in this world only for a temporary basis. My life in this world is not permanent, but any time I have to return back firstly. And secondly, whatever we see in this world, the house, the business, our work, everything that we see in this world is not permanent. It is all temporary. I have to leave all these things and go with my dear father. And thirdly, what we have to think, the coming of the Lord is very near. Any time he will come to take me, we should realize and understand that. That is what it says. We should live soberly. So when we live in this world, we should live in an understanding. What is understanding? What we said before. And then it says righteously. Hallelujah. By God's righteousness, we were made righteous. When we believed in the blood of Jesus, we were made righteous. And then we should live our life righteously. Our actions should should be righteous hallelujah that is why it says he delivered us from all evil doings from all iniquity he delivered us and he is not called us to do ungodliness meaning what is against god that is called ungodliness but he has called us to live righteously and godly hallelujah to do things righteous we should be very eagerly doing it Hallelujah. What is the witness that we were redeemed, that we should, be, we should be eager to do good things? Hallelujah. Good works. The works like how Jesus did when he lived in this world. Hallelujah. The works that was revealed through Jesus Christ is called good works. So we should be children who are zealous for good works. Hallelujah. His people, if we are, then we should be zealous for good works. But then without doing good works, but if we do ungodly things, we don't reflect him. In Ephesians 2, chapter 10, it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. So we were born again. We were redeemed for what? To do good works. 
to do good for others, to be useful for others, not to hurt, cheat or do iniquity. But then for what were we created? We were created as his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. So what all should we have in our life? When Jesus was in this world, he was compassionate. When Jesus was in this world, he fulfilled the duty that the Father had upon him. Hallelujah. He revealed the revelation of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You should see the person in weakness. You should comfort those who are weak and all that we can do to help others. We should do. We should pray for others. We should, we should Praying for others is very important. Usually we pray for only for ourselves. That is not good work. But we should pray for others. Hallelujah. And not only that, in godly things, we should have a great interest, enthusiasm to do it. Hallelujah. In godly matters, hallelujah, we should show great interest and lead others also into Christ. In this manner, a life to lead our Lord redeemed us. In Philippines 1 6, the word of the God says, being confident of this very thing, that he who has began a good work in us. So, when did that good work start happening in us? The moment we received Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Hallelujah, we receive the good work and till the end we have to do it. The, till we are taken away from this world or till the trumpet sound is being heard, till that time we should be eager to do good work, zealous to do good work. Hallelujah, zealous for God's work, being zealous to do good things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, without being, without being hesitant to do good works, but being zealous to do good works. So in anything, what should we do? We should be having zealous to do the work of God, to say the gospel, for praying for others. Hallelujah, to do good things by visiting sick, by visiting and providing for orphans and the widows, by supporting them, helping them, being kind to them in this manner, being zealous for good works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when we live in this manner, how are we living? We are living in godly righteousness. We, this is the witness or the testimony that we were redeemed from sinfulness. Hallelujah. Every day desire to help at least one person, one way or another. If you have money, provide them and help them with money. If you have health, help them with health. If you provide help through your words in any manner. One way or the other, I will help someone, but I will not do evil for anyone. But for one person at least, the maximum I can do, I will help. Dear children, start trying it. You will see your life being more blessed and glorious. Hallelujah. And let the Lord bless you with these words. So be zealous to do good works. Hallelujah. Our God redeemed us from evil things. But then he's made us, he redeemed us, saved us to be zealous for good works. So let us continue to do good works for we were redeemed redeemed for these for the holy spirit has already started his works in us the moment we were born again and let the holy spirit help us and strengthen us from today onwards be zealous to do good works and one way or the other every day i will do good for someone or the other and let us move forward together hallelujah in jesus name we will grow we will increase and we will multiply god bless you god bless you god bless you today hallelujah